boy oh boy this season of Big Brother has been difficult to watch I mean I really haven't been on the feeds and every time I go on the feeds I can't even force myself to watch too much of it but one thing that I just recently witnessed on Big Brother's official account they actually drew a comparison to Janelle and Kaser using Kylan and Claire and the, the the comparison is solely based on the aesthetic that you know both Kaser and Kylan are brown and both Claire and Janelle are blonde <laughs> because that's literally the only similarities that exist I mean from what I have seen of the feeds they don't have that relationship if anything if you want to draw uh, a comparison to a relationship that he has in the house you would have to use him and Sarah Beth you know they're the more closer uh, of the two I mean from what I've seen he's he's on the same team as Claire uh, because they're still in teams right now with Travis being the first of their team evicted but outside of that I haven't really seen him that close with her from what I've seen on the feeds and what I've followed through other accounts and another thing that I've noticed this season is the BB Twitter nonsense and of course their hypocrisy because they're always being hypocritical because this season they're all trying to search for a showmance, specifically wanting Derek X and Hannah to be a showmance. Now every season uh, we have to hear some of the same people who want this Derek X and Hannah showmance to happen. They're complaining about showmances any other time. Because it's not the fact that they dislike showmances is that it's not the showmance they want you know it's the same thing we have a house alliance pretty much currently going on and no one's complaining about it because the people that they want to get evicted are being evicted right now so again they're okay with showmances they are okay with showmances but they are okay with them when it's a showmance that they want uh, they don't like house alliances but they do like house alliances when they're getting out the people that they want and it's pretty much on code with uh, woke BB Twitter uh, being the consistent and constant hypocrites as they are and um, you know, from what I've seen on the feeds uh, it's not really active uh, like it was during Frenchie's week which again that was another thing that they hypocritically complained about I mean Frenchie easily has had the worst HOH ever I mean there's never been an HOH that immediately eliminated half of the house from being potential targets because he stated clearly a woman was not going to go out on his HOH no other HOH has done this like immediately eliminating half of the house guests from the pool of potential targets and then he also stated no minority or POC as he likes to say None, nobody of that sort was going to go out on his HOH so he literally limited himself to the guys that he targeted during his HOH week which was Brent Christian uh, Travis and Derek X now you say whoa Derek X is Asian well you have to remember in the woke world Asians are white 
or at least they were calling Asians white until the stop Asian hate hashtag became a thing but before then they were classifying Asians as white even going as far as uh, endorsing discrimination against them when it was uh, you know when it came to schools and getting into Ivy League institutions so you know Frenchie you know since he's woke he, he went on board with that and targeted all of the white guys and labeled white guys in the house and so he he purposely limited his his pool and his and Travis being targeted and inevitably evicted had nothing to do with game strategy because uh, according to Travis in exit interviews he promised him safety because he was a part of the group that Frenchie was in when those four entered the house they were part of that four that entered the house so yeah this but again his week was full of action and people complain about that you know and I think a lot of the complaints centered around woke Frenchie not doing exactly what they wanted because you know the woke bigots on BB Twitter they wanted two white guys in the block he didn't give them those nominations now ultimately they got what they wanted but initially they weren't getting what they wanted and they were upset about it despite the feeds being active and entertaining and now during Callan's HOH the fees have pretty much been inactive you know as far as gameplay and strategy now conversations have been occurring you know people prepping themselves for the following week but there was nowhere near the activity that was going on during Frenchie and last time I checked people claim that they want fun feeds so when the feeds are exciting you know they complain about it but when the feeds are chill they love it but if the feeds were chill and it was under an HOH with targets that they disagreed with then they would be complaining about how boring it is I mean again it's, it's constant they're consistently hypocritical uh, BB Twitter and CBS Big Brother is just being ridiculous with this comparison here because they don't have any type of relationship the way Kaser and Janelle has uh, Kylan has that more so with Sarah Beth but you know and I don't know how the ratings have been doing but I know me personally I haven't watched a single episode I've just really been tuned out of this season and I don't know how many more videos I'm going to make talking about this season because it's not interesting enough to me but you know I'll hold on because again uh, it's not like I'm paying for feeds anyway <laughs> so I'll tune into the feeds here and there you know check the three or four Big Brother update accounts and we'll see if this will get interesting by by the time of the next HOH but again I'm enjoying seeing all this hypocrisy about showmancers because the anti showmancers are now you know praying and hoping they get their Derek X and Hannah showmans while they're still trying to ruin you know Brent's life just a bunch of scumbags but that's Big Brother Twitter for you <laughs>